How much does it cost to live in Las Vegas? What's the price of a gallon of gas, a gallon of milk, a loaf of bread, a carton of eggs? Let's talk about it. Welcome back. My name is Pablo Roman, your Las Vegas real estate professional with Better Life team of eXp Realty. Of course, if you're interested in buying or selling your home or your investment property here in Las Vegas, reach out to me. All my contact information is below. Let's have a conversation about your unique situation and make sure you get the best possible results. All right, let's talk about the cost of living in Las Vegas. If you watched my market update video, you already know that the single family residence median price right now is about $445,000 in Las Vegas. If you're looking at a condo purchase, it's about $235,000. And we talked about the interest rates and what that means for you going on a mortgage calculator to estimate your price of what your monthly payments are going to be. Ultimately, you're going to have to talk to a financial professional, a loan officer to make sure dial in the details, but that gives you an idea. So let's talk about the rent prices. A 700 square foot one bedroom apartment right now in Las Vegas is approximately going to cost you about $1,250 a month, $1,250. Now, if you're looking for a 1,000 square foot two bedroom apartment, that's gonna cost you approximately $1,450 a month. Now, if you're looking for a bigger three bedroom apartment that's more than 1,250 square feet, now you're talking about $1,800 a month in rent. Also, if you're considering renting a single family home, which there's plenty of options for that as well, I would say you're looking at about $2,400 a month in rent. Now, these are all approximations and estimates. So many variables come into play with the rent, the location of uh, the property in the city, the size and the age of the property, but this is just a general overview to give you an idea of what it would cost you every month for housing. I forgot to talk about the utilities. Can't forget about that. That's part of the cost of living, right? So according to numbio.com, a 915 square foot apartment is gonna cost you roughly $200 a month in utilities. That's all in with electricity, water, gas if you have it, etc. Now for a single family residence, that's gonna vary it's going to depend on the age of your home and the HVAC unit. But I tell you, it's definitely gone up. I just went over my numbers, the average of my utilities over the last 12 months compared to two years ago. And my gas bill went up 100%. And this year was definitely not as cold of a winter as it was previously. Doubled. It doubled the gas bill. My power bill went up about 50%, also a significant increase, and my water bill stayed about the same. But uh, that's gonna vary greatly on the size of your home, two-story, one-story, and of course, how old the air conditioning unit is. So let's talk about food. I love talking about food, I love eating food, but I don't like talking about how much it costs. So even for a casual meal right now, you're probably easily looking at $20 a person for a casual meal. I mean, let's face it, I don't know what part of the country you're in, but right now, if you go walk into any fast food restaurant that used to be a value, and obviously it's not healthy for you either, right now you're easily spending double digits for a combo meal. So for a casual restaurant, definitely easily at least $20 a person. Now, if you're looking to splurge just a little bit more and go to a mid-range restaurant, you're talking about at least $50 to $75 a person. Now, Las Vegas, we are not only the entertainment capital of the world, we are also a culinary destination as well, the finest chefs from all over the world. So if you want to go upscale, you can definitely do that here, and the sky's the limit. You can spend thousands on a meal as well. As far as groceries, let's talk about that. Numbio.com also gives us a list of different prices to expect at the market, but you don't want that. Let's go to the grocery store and see for ourselves. Let's look at some bread. So 
429 for some wonder bread classic 2.99 on sale 4.99 nature's own honey wheat 4.49 and multigrain that makes me feel healthy 379 there you go that is a quick peek at a loaf of bread let's go look at the eggs i don't know about you but in vegas not too long ago this was quite controversial the shelves were empty everything else in the store except for the eggs were stocked fortunately as you can see fully stocked now ranging from $2.99 all the way up to $9.99 if you're going for that organic pasture raised egg a gallon of milk Anderson brand is going for about five or six dollars depending on if you want one percent two percent or a whole as you can see here, you can find different brands though, $239, $269, $3 for a gallon of whole milk. And about 4 to $7 for half a gallon of the organic milk. Okay, let's look at some chicken. So $3.99 a pound for chicken breast, $2.49 for some chicken thigh, $2.49 a pound for some drumsticks. Here's an extreme close-up. Ground beef, about five to five fifty a pound for some ground beef. And here we go, another extreme close-up, 85% lean Angus. And if you want to feel a little bit healthier, here we go. Here's ground turkey, about five fifty six dollars for a pound of ground turkey. Oh, there you go, four dollars. Got to shop around. And five pound bags of rice. There you go, five forty nine, nine forty nine, depending on the brand. Here we go for a one pound bag, a variety of prices, three to two dollars. Let's not forget about the beans. You gotta go rice and beans. Hey, we're at the grocery store. We might as well pick up a can of tuna, right? You never know when you're gonna need a can of tuna. You gotta love peanut butter. Peanut butter was my kid's main source of protein when they were toddlers. Definitely my go-to for a average jar probably about four dollars as you can see big variety let me know do you prefer creamy or chunky peanut butter and then the jellies looks like about two to three dollars unless you're going for that fancy six dollar jelly that's enough with the groceries let's get out of here before we start buying stuff we shouldn't be eating transportation costs Owning a vehicle, having a vehicle is highly recommended. So aside from the initial cost of purchasing your vehicle or your monthly payments for your vehicle, you're gonna to have to think about your car insurance and of course, gas. According to bankrate.com, the national average for the minimum car insurance rate is about $622 and that can go as high as about $2,014 for the year for full coverage. Now in Las Vegas, it's a bit higher with the minimum coverage at $933 and the full coverage at about $2,800 for the year. I would say shop around. You should always stay on top of those insurance rates because you can usually get a deal and get a better rate every year. Check with your insurance company and check with a few others. It's definitely worth it. As far as gas prices, let's take a look at what AAA says the national average is and what Las Vegas average is right now. So according to AAA, the national average right now is about $3.53 a gallon and $4.30 a gallon in Nevada. That's for regular, a little bit more for mid-grade and then for premium diesels at 425. Let's take a look at Las Vegas specifically. According to them, the current average is $4.36 for a gallon of regular, $4.31 for a gallon of diesel. Obviously, you're going to find different prices all over town, but you know me, I'm always going to find you the best deal. 
We can't talk about cost of living without talking about taxes. So in Nevada, there is no state income tax. The gaming revenue has us covered there. There is sales tax and that here in Las Vegas with the county and the state is about 8.38%. Property tax is one of the lowest in the country, so that's a bonus. It's at about 0.55%. To put that in perspective, if we take the median range price for a single family home that we talked about before at $445,000, you're looking at about $2,500 for the year in property tax. It's pretty good compared to the national. Talking about cost of living, there really is so much to break down. I just wanted to go over some basics, right? We talked about housing, how much it's gonna cost to buy or rent, food, grocery expenses, as well as some restaurants, of course, transportation costs such as fuel and insurance, and of course, taxes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me some feedback in the comments, please. And of course, if you're interested in buying or selling your home or investment property in Las Vegas, I'm your Las Vegas real estate professional with Better Life team of eXp Realty. All my contact information is below. Reach out. I look forward to helping you. Thanks again for watching. Have an awesome day.